Hi there, it's Carl Irwin, the Common Magician, and I wanted to try something uh, new. Uh, I've been uh, doing a number of talks lately, uh, mostly about philosophical kinds of ideas uh, and just my feelings on a, a variety of different topics related to uh, magic, particularly for the Common Magician. And um, I decided that uh, I think I was going to do, I think I'm going to do a series here of uh, shorter videos where uh, there's not really any tutorial involved at all, uh, but just a performance of tricks that I do. Uh, obviously, on the channel, I teach a lot of, of my own ideas, and, and I teach about uh, principles that I use. Uh, sometimes those ideas are highly theoretical. They're things that I put together just for the channel to share uh, that you can take and run with. Sometimes I share things that uh, are more practical that I do. Uh, and uh, I want to focus on those things. These are these are going to be tricks that I actually do with regularity uh, whenever I'm around people and uh, someone asks for something or I have an opportunity and I can take it. So it's uh, you know it's going to be things that I carry on me or things that I can do with uh, stuff that's just in the room. Um, tricks that I I use. Uh, these are things that I use with regularity. So. Uh, we'll start with this one here. Uh, it, it begins by uh, asking a spectator to imagine that you have a deck of cards, right? And it's sitting right here uh, on, on the table or sitting in your hand, sitting in your lap, wherever. Uh, and I want you to just imagine for a moment that you could uh, open up the box and you could remove um, uh, some group of cards. You've got red cards, black cards. You've got uh, uh, numbers, odds, or even. You've got uh, number cards and picture cards. Uh, imagine that you could remove from there, from the box, uh, either the number cards or the picture cards. Which one would you decide to remove, the number cards or picture cards? They might say uh, the uh, picture cards. I'd say, great. So you take the picture cards out. You could hold them out in front of you. So you're looking at all of these uh, court cards uh, from the uh, deck. And uh, in there, you'll notice that you have uh, a couple of different groups. Again, you've got the red and black. You've got uh, four different suits there. Uh, you also have uh, ladies and you have men. You've got jacks and kings and then you've got queens. Uh, which would you like to pick out? Would you like to pick out the uh, ladies or the men? And they might say, uh, the ladies. They say, great, go ahead and pick out the ladies. And you're holding in front of you now uh, these uh, queens. You've got the queen of spades, the queen of hearts, the queen of clubs, and the queen of diamonds. I want you to kind of focus in on one. Uh, which one do you want to uh, take? Which one, which one do you want to uh, use for what we're going to try here? Do you want to use the uh, spades, hearts, clubs, or diamonds? And they might say, uh, the clubs. And I say, great. All of this has been freely your choice. You have chosen everything from the very beginning. Uh, you chose what kind of card you wanted to end up with. And I have in my wallet, it just so happens, I keep one playing card in my wallet. Only one. I always have it with me uh, just for this reason. And I just want to share with you uh, what it is. You settled on the Queen of Clubs, and I happen to have the Queen of Clubs. So this is my handling of uh, the Kenton Nepper uh, effect, Colossal Killer. Uh, I always have this with me. I do it. It's one of the more regular things that I do. Uh, usually when I do this, it's the only thing I'll do. I'll just do this one experiment with people, uh, and that'll be it. I tend to usually do one trick at a time. I don't usually focus on multiple tricks. Sometimes if I have a deck of cards, I'll do a couple of different effects. But um, this is one of my favorites, one of my go-tos. Uh, I've done it in a number of different ways using a number of different methods, including uh, 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 Kenton's uh, 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 s couple of his original methods. I've done those before, but this is the this is the way that I've settled on uh, doing this, and it flies by perfect every time. People are always blown away by it. It's a very good use of this particular kind of method is uh, Kent Nepper's Colossal Killer. So, um, just happy to share that with you. And until the next. Uh, time I share a trick that I use. Good luck and happy magicking.